Well, earlier I spoke to Kiki Masamba, who was at Ajax the last time the club were crowned European champions back in 1995. The former Dutch under-21 uh, player went on to also feature Atletico Madrid and Manchester City, among many other clubs. He says it's great to see his former team back in the round of 16 for the first time since the 2005-2006 season. Very important for the club. Uh, I mean, their Champions League campaign has now already been a big success after 13 years, like you mentioned. And especially with this young squad, who is very potential and talented, people are expecting a lot of this team. And the fact that they went through to the next phase is just a, an amazing achievement for them. Were you surprised to see someone like Thomas Muller fl flying in with a Kung Fu-style kick? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not his type of game, but that shows the tension that was on the game. I mean, that first part is quite important because it depends on who you can, you're going to play against in the next round. And I think both teams recognize the importance of it. So they really went through it. And it was a game that was very intense from both sides. And they played very well. And it was an amazing game to see. Yeah. How far can your former Ajax club go now? Uh, and tell us about some of the unsung heroes in that team that shows why they've done so well to qualify again. Yeah, well, this team um, is, is very well balanced, i got to say. It is a young team, but in each line, in the defending line, in the middle line, in the attacking line, they brought some experience into it. They got back Danny Blind, who came back from Manchester, which is an experienced player. They got back Tadic, who came back also from England. We got a lot of experience. And Lasse Schöner is still there. And I got to say, credits to Mark Overmas, who has put the squad together. It's young players with a lot of potential, but also experienced older player who brings the balance in the team. And now you can really see that the older players are standing up and being leaders and guiding the young ones. And that balance just worked out very well. Kiki, how hard is it to pick an eventual winner? Because you could make a case for almost any of those last 16 clubs, including another of your former sides, Manchester City. Of course, their manager, Pep Guardiola, knows what it's like to, to win, having done it with Barcelona as a coach and as a player. And if we take a look at their victory in their final group game against Hoffenheim, are they a team yeah. that others will want to avoid in Monday's draw? Knowing Pep Guardiola, the Champions League is what he's chasing for. He couldn't do it with Bayern and a lot of critics came to him because of that, because they were really expecting it. And I'm sure that he want to prove and make history with Man City, but at least getting at the final. So I'm sure that the Champions League is something they are pushing for. And this year, I'm expecting a different winner. I'm expecting a new winner. I don't see Real or Barcelona winning the Champions League. I think it's going to be an outstanding club. Juventus is a big one. And of course, Man City is right there trying to aim for the win. Bold prediction from Kiki Misamba. We love it. Kiki, always great to have your thoughts on world sport. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome.